two. G'day, welcome to the Rich on Toddy Potty, episode 19. Here with Jake and Joel. How you going? Boys, how are you? Tell us something about yourselves. Uh, I'm a bit of a clean freak, actually. The state of the shed, so I'm pretty unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but, love uh, that. Um, and I used to work at uh, Macca's as a burger boy as well, so nice. something different. Yeah, nice. Yes. Um, yeah, I like my sport, play at Nangers with Ben. Yep. And I'm a plumber. Plumber. So plumber, plumber by trade. Yeah. Yep. Nice. nice. How so are you doing? Yeah, good, good. How's your weekend? Good. Yeah. Did you like too much? Um, had a party on. Yep. How'd you go? Did a bit of boogie on? Yeah, had a crack. Yeah. Had a dip. Had a dip. Had a whirl. Yeah, what about you? Yeah, about the same. Yeah, nice. Did the same thing, so. Let's go. Had the three parties, but, yeah. For your, yeah, did you go to all three? Yeah. Oh, you did three. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was good. How about you guys? What did you guys get up to? Much? Oh yeah, you go down. Uh, I was in Adelaide, me yep. and Ben and Trent. We went up on the Friday. Yep. We went to a couple of pubs on the Friday night, stayed in Glenelg. It was a bit of fun. And then Saturday we went to the footy, Adelaide, yep. North Melbourne. Yeah, good. Me and Ben sat in the hill, like abused a few players. Bit dark. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that. fun. From the country, you know. And then yeah, went to a few more pubs and went out down yeah, lightly. Yeah, Very nice. Just a standard Adelaide trip. Yeah, yep. yeah, nice. Standard. What about you, Jakey? Nothing too exciting. I'm just recovering from the old ACL. But um, oh, yeah, just had um, like a five pit at home with um, Benny, Braden, and um, BJ. So yep. just did that for a bit and fucking sunk a few beers and yeah. Trade train weekend. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah, mate. Yeah, that's it. Watch the footy, watch the power get up. So it was pretty oh, good as well. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> both uh, both power boys. Yeah. Let's uh, just quietly. Yeah. yeah. Our um, thoughts. Thoughts on the year? Uh, obviously pretty disappointing, like five and zip start. The heat was on us and we thought we might bounce back, but probably a little bit too late in the end. Um, we obviously can play some good footy and stuff, but yeah, at times we don't match up that well against the, the better sides, I'd say, in the comp, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, there's definitely some potential there. I know the supporters are calling for the coach to go, but... Yeah, there's plenty, plenty of controversy about that. Yeah, I yeah. think the, the players are backing him in, so yeah. you got to kind of roll with that. It's yeah, pretty important to have yeah. I think that's probably the hardest thing to earn, have the well, have the backing of the playing group. Mm -hmm. That's right. If you lose that, then you've probably got nothing. But yeah. as yep. long as you've got that, you can still roll through with something. Exactly right, mate. Yeah, that's what I think as well. So Finals yeah. next year? Oh, got to say yes. Yeah. Could have some sort of way. Yeah. Yeah. Get Juan yeah. Francis in and then we get to go. Oh, home. Okay. <laughs> I don't rate right, right here at all, Francis. Yeah, he's a bit of a sook at the moment, isn't he? But, but yeah. if you're at North Melbourne, I'd be a sook too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Especially watching them on the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> But a um, bit of um, news, Robbie Gray might be retiring, which is a bit sad, so yeah. really, hope that doesn't happen. What a veteran. Do you reckon he'd go another couple? I don't know, he's a bit, he's injured prone at the moment, so... He sits in a full pocket. Yeah, he's pretty dangerous one-on-one, -on -one, yeah. but uh, yeah, we'll see how, uh, hopefully he keeps... He's been a good player for a long time. Yeah, he's yeah, been yeah. probably one of our best, I reckon. Yeah, him and yeah. Bokey. Him and Bokey. Yeah. Bokey's probably my favourite. He's your favourite? Yeah, just, um, he's just a good leader and just does all the right things, like recovery and that. He's pretty massive on all that kind of thing, so... Just professional. Sort he's, of thing. he's 34 and hasn't really slowed down at all. No. So, no. yeah, I do rate Bokey very highly. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, we've worked this out with Ben to get you on. Yep. Um, he's yeah. been a big factor in getting you on. Good mate, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> <Sorry. Good> um, <laughs> <laughs> um, he's obviously got some questions for you. So, he's really wanted us to ask some questions for you. So, I think we might just roll into them. Classic. Toddy's got them. I do have them. Can't for these. <laughs> um, all right, so first one, Richard's got to get a photo up on his phone. Okay, yep, got this one. Yep. <laughs> Here we go. Um, he, is, he asked, uh, can Jake explain this photo? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so we'll get that up to the camera. Table tennis night at Nays. Oh, so we're wrong. <laughs> just uh, um, me, just and Luke was, me and Luke were probably red hot favourites going into the, the table tennis tournament and. Um, the old fellas, friggin' Vessa, Vessa and who was it? Dion, uh, Dion. Cookie, yeah, they cleaned us up. We were, it was pretty even all game and that, and we had some good rallies, and then, then we fucking blew it, and then, yeah, uh, I got a bit angry, and Libby comes up to me and kept asking me, like, oh, how'd you go? Did you get <laughs> and I, at that point, Nangs hadn't won a game, and I was like, I'm fucking sick of losing. <laughs> then he kept coming up to me, like, trying to take photos, and I was just pissed off, and then, yeah. <laughs> so was that was that like you about to about to clog him? Yeah, pretty much because he kept having the camera in my face. Like, yeah, just go. <laughs> 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 now, now you can explain that photo. Yeah, that makes so much sense. Yeah, so so like, yeah. get away from me. Can't you? <laughs> oh, so that was this year. Yeah, that that's cheese in the background there. Yeah, cheese. Nice. That was one of our first. I might get that right up there. Yeah, no, get it right up there. Don't trip over the cord. 
He put that in his cover photo as well, I think. Yeah, yeah. he did. I remember saying it on Facebook. I was yeah. like, what is this, mate? Like, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Anyway, that story, uh, yeah, it was a nice little, <laughs> nice little background to that, uh, that photo. Um, another one for Jake. <laughs> Rumour has it, Jake never hurt his knee, he did it to get the girls. <laughs> oh, that actually worked pretty well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, hopping around and yeah, I suppose you get a little bit, bit of attention on to you. Just freaking open the door up for you. It's a good little, going, like, yeah. It's a good little starter question, isn't it? Exactly. What, what, what's wrong with you? What's yeah. wrong with you? Especially when I had the brakes on and you got crutches, like they're like, oh, I've done pretty, like something pretty serious. I was like, yeah, yeah. It kind of starts with a chat. Yeah. How how is the knee going? It's actually yeah. not too bad at the moment. I had um, my first physio appointment today um, with Tosh McCallum, and yeah, she said it's like looking good, and I've got a few things to do with it, like exercise and that kind of thing. So. Yeah. Um, I can like lift it up and I can bend it a little bit more than 90 now, but to there it gets yeah. a little bit sore. But um, yeah, it's starting to get a whole lot better. Yeah. Have you got any um, got any advice for anyone who's maybe just gone through a pretty major injury? I think like the biggest thing is I've had seven weeks off work and a lot of the time I've just been laying on the couch like watching Netflix and that. The first two weeks was like, oh, this is kind of something different. But the third and fourth and fifth week, it's just like you laying there like, oh, it's a lot of a mental game, I think. Yeah. Yep. So I've had a pretty good like, like friends and that come around and like offer to take you places like my family's been really good so i think it's the, the support base around you is huge for you to recover probably properly yeah um that's what i found as well like anyway but um yeah i think just the support base is the major thing for me getting through it but um i hope i do play footy again but like in the back of your mind you're like oh yeah, it's a lot of yeah, yeah. you're not yeah. sure and like well, how's your body going to react to it and like i've heard oh if you do one you're going to do the other kind of thing but um like the surgeon told me this knee is going to be four times stronger than that one. So you do your rehab, both of them on the same like the same time, and yep. they should be good to go. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. That's some pretty good advice, obviously, with uh, my younger brother. Done his ACL a couple of weeks ago, so it's a good one for him. Yeah, no, a few other people out there. Did you forget about that? Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's actually pretty common. Um, I didn't realise, like, you hear of ACL injuries all the time, but um, AFL mostly, but, like, when I'd done it, I put it up on Facebook, and a lot of people reached out to me and said, oh, I've just been through it, Jake. Um, just do this, do that kind of thing. And I was like, oh, I appreciate it. They said, ask any questions if you need anything. So yeah. that was really good to, like, for people to reach out to me. Yeah, we can have that support around. Yeah, that's like, right, yeah. Like you're not alone. Alone, so. that's the biggest thing, yeah. yeah. Yep. So, no, nah, definitely, Um, yeah, if anyone does have an ACL injury or a big injury, yeah, flick us a message and I can, yeah, try to point them in the right direction. So. Yep, cool. Awesome. Oh, we can. So, yeah. Um, also, just on that, he yeah. never denied the fact that he... He's faking it. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not that faking it. Oh, yeah. not. <laughs> oh, I wish, but yeah. Uh, sadly, no. No, the way he's hobbling around before. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I think he's pretty yeah, easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, get, get Joel to talk about Friday night would be a big story there. Friday night. Um, uh, I'm not, if, I don't know if he's getting at anything in particular there, but Friday night. I'm just going to talk about what happened to Ben, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> good. Yeah. Good, yeah. Good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we got to Adelaide, Ben drove, uh, and me and Trent, we obviously drank on the way up, so we got there about 9.30, Ben obviously hadn't had a beer yet, and we went down to the Broadway, and we had a, f we had a few there, and then he started buying these shots, and like just for him, and a couple of mates that he met up there, he met some randoms, as Ben does, yep. confident Ben, just goes up to people, <laughs> and he was having shots with these, be uh, these boys, and then we went down to Glenelg to the Mosley. Yep. They had had a DJ there. Good spot, Mosley. Good spot, yeah. It was yeah. actually good there. And Ben being Ben, he was there buying drinks for everyone. All these random girls, anyone, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> um, obviously didn't work, though. <laughs> <laughs> obviously. Yeah. And, yeah, we got back to the... I mean, we already got back about 2 o'clock, and he had locked himself in the bathroom, and it was just spewing his guts out everywhere. <laughs> Went to bed, had a bucket, spewed in the bucket, and I think he slept for a good probably ten hours. We didn't see him, didn't see him till lunchtime Jesus. the next day. So that's that was, that's his like, debut in Adelaide as well. Was it? Oh, really? He's never been out in Adelaide. Yeah, right. So he thought we actually turned off in Tintinara to get there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's no word of a lie. What a real. So you got the idea do you mean, he had he had he had he Yeah, oh, who knows? <laughs> he thought we turned off in Tintinara. 
He's the sort of bloke that would, uh, he would have no idea what he's yeah, doing when he's yeah. driving to Adelaide. Yep. You stick like, when you go to Adelaide, you stick on the one road the whole way. That's <laughs> right. He's asking every turn, oh, God, do I turn it in? Yeah. I just want to know the thought yeah. process for why yeah. let him drive was. first. Was uh, it just purely because he didn't want him drinking and yeah, the backseat? Yeah, we just didn't want to drive, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Living her up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I imagine if you're driving and he's in the back seat drinking. Yeah. That, yeah that's a recipe for the yeah, dance. He probably wouldn't have made it out. Yeah. I mean, I don't reckon he would have made it to Adelaide, to be honest. He got <laughs> dropped off at Cincinnati. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We'll Shut up, stop, you up on the way home. Stop talking. And obviously struck out. <laughs> and yeah. yeah. Then he struck out as well on Friday night, was it? Yeah, Friday night. Yeah. yeah. He um, didn't get the... Didn't, didn't get... He was, he, he was pretty confident he was going to get some. Yeah. He got none. Uh, there's a little another story behind that, isn't there? Oh, Richo wants you to tell it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't gonna push he, it. So yeah, he did. He had a, he had a girl. Yep. And it was with her most of the night, I reckon. Yep. And it got to home time. Yep. And she had uh, pulled out the old "I've got a boyfriend" card. And... <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yeah, and he wasn't too happy about that. <laughs> Do you reckon she actually had a girl boyfriend, or that was I'm just not an sure. excuse? Not sure. Not sure. Probably an excuse. Probably an excuse. Yeah. Probably a good one, actually. Oh, well, free drinks tonight, and then yeah. see ya. She's yeah. not complaining. Got a boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's smart from her. Yeah, yeah. she's, she's playing that well. Yeah. She's yeah. met a few Ben's in her time. <laughs> 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 nah, he's one of a kind. I'm not even talking about it. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah right. definitely. Alright, um, move on to the next one here. Uh, would both of you stay at Nangas? Oh, 100% yeah. I think. Yeah. 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 I, think I think that was a shit question. Like, I sort of wrote it down and I was like... Well, I know the answer to it. I don't yeah. think anyone's going to want me to go anywhere with my name at the moment. But... No, you no. can't go anywhere. Yeah, I can't really stop. No one wants to sign you. No, exactly. <laughs> but um, no, we won't be going anywhere. I think the club is going places, and we've got a pretty good foundation at the moment. So I think it's probably the place to be. Yep. Just quietly. Especially after you've had. It's yeah, pretty good that's right. Yeah. I think definitely looking at it from the outside, it looks like a wicked place. It's very not, not only play like not only to play footy but like just to be around, just yeah. to be a part of yeah. Yeah. just the way people from they want to talk about it and stuff. Yeah. You know, but yeah. There's nothing negative I've ever heard really yeah. to be honest. Yeah. And it's a great culture by family. It's a family club, yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty young group as well we've got at the moment, which helps. Like we all go out together kind of drinking and that together, which is pretty yeah, big not, to hang not out. Just the yeah. footy team. That's you up, yeah, yeah, your mates off the field yeah. as well, which yep. is very important. Mm -hmm. That's probably the biggest thing. Like if you're doing that, it'll all come together on the field. Yeah, because exactly. yeah. you're all there playing for each other, then that's yeah. right. That gives you that extra, like, yeah. extra five percent, ten percent. A lot of footy clubs try to enforce that sort of thing and try and build mm -hmm. that. And when it's happening naturally, that's massive. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, Joel stays around. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a few clubs will be chasing him. I'd say he's had a pretty good year. So. Yep. No, I reckon. Um, I was yeah. A couple of times I went out there and like didn't matter who you were, they'd all talk to you. Mm -hmm. Everyone would talk to you. Like yeah. even some of the older. Older figures in the club that weren't playing footy anymore would still come up, say hey, ask how you going, yeah, and genuinely yeah. mean it. Yeah. Like, and that, yeah, I don't know, to me, that meant so much. Yeah, like, that's awesome, yeah. When you got the older fellas come up to you after the game, like, oh, good work, you could have done this, could have done that. I think that's yeah. pretty good as well, so. Yeah. yeah, oh, no, it's always good to have that feedback. Yep. And, uh, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of family in that involved with the club, and they've stuck around the hard times, so oh, definitely. they kind of want to see us do well now, which is pretty good, so. Yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. no. Um, yeah, so that question, I knew what the answer was going to be, but yep. I still had to ask it. Anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another one for Jake. Um, rumour also has it, Jake dogged the boys multiple times going out. Oh, yeah, I might have. Oh, I, not as much as Ben, though. No. <laughs> 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 This is very good. It's, like, it's coming to a personal attack now. Yeah, yeah, I think he's maybe talking about Podsy, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, maybe a couple of times I've snuck off when I wasn't feeling it. I, I know one time I said that the, the gens, I was like, oh, I'm just going to go charge my phone and I'll be back. Nice. <laughs> I never came back. But um, <laughs> I've been pretty good of late. I'm going to get a jumper. Yeah, he said that. Well. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he's got to think, like, I'm, I'm 28 this year, so. Yeah. I'm getting a little bit old. Yeah, you're probably just exiting your prime. Yeah. That's right, mate. Yeah, so yeah, time to settle down, mate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah maybe like, one day. Hopefully. Like you said, I don't think Ben's one to really talk about that sort of thing. <laughs> no, exactly. Pretty exactly. bad for it. Is he jump yeah. on an opportunity as soon as he gets it? Yeah, yeah. I think that's pretty rich one for me. Is Got any good stories from him dogging the boys? Um, oh, oh, when he went out for like a. A barn tea or something. Oh like yeah, that's, that's a very good one. <laughs> so yeah, there's a few of us boys from footy. We like decide oh, we'll go we'll go down Jens for like we had the buy uh, yeah. the week off. So like oh Saturday we'll go down we went for lunch, and yeah we're at the pub all yeah, pretty much all afternoon, and it got to about oh, five o'clock, and he just ordered a bowl of wedges. <laughs> He's like alright, and then it got to like five thirty. Just finishes the wedges, and he oh the good old oh 
meant to have a barn date tonight. You reckon he completely forgot about it? <laughs> so oh. he, he just he took off and he took this girl to the barn. She had to pick him up because he was blind <laughs> and he had a pub. <laughs> and then he would have got back. I don't know, I'm sure what time it was. Yeah. But yeah, he dogged us for the majority of the night. For a bar, <laughs> that, that for a bar date with a chick. Yeah. Now, that's, that's not the barn story I'll seek it on. So he's been taking a lot of birds to the barn. Yeah, that's um, oh. <laughs> that's funny because that's different to the couple I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> and the weird thing is he does it on a first date. Takes him straight to the barn. Yeah. Doesn't, even, doesn't even know him. <laughs> yeah. Takes with the nose for the meal and all that. Then doesn't see him again. But, oh. <laughs> he probably makes him pay for it. Yeah, he? probably. No, 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 no one nah. he, he would pay for it. Like, yeah, that would. That, you can't yeah. knock him for that. But right. like, He took someone to the possums and that as well. Get into the cave. Yeah, he went down to the caves. Too. So yeah, he's left his possum times to go on little adventures. I don't know about, don't know about going down possum cave for a first date. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's really yeah. good. We'll go get some bread and go down to possum cave. Yeah, that's, that's it. Him. So it's pretty big for Doug and the boys with girls. Yeah, girls yeah that's right. Yeah, that's, yep. I thought it's a bit, that's a bit rich. Yep. Yep. Fair call. <laughs> Ben's just backfired on himself. Yeah. <laughs> come on, Ben. He'll be watching this, he'll be pretty stiff about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Finds a way to make it about himself every time. So is this last question going to be good? Because all we've done is answer this question. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a good one. I do like this one. Best looking teammate in the Nangwari team. You can't say each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't say the easy way. Yeah. yeah. It's a tricky one, eh? It's a tricky one. Don't say Ben. Yeah, so that, that goes Maybe Weed Offs, I reckon. Yeah, weed weed I'll give you that one. That's a good one. I like that. I don't mind weed off. It's a good, good, good choice. Yeah. And you've obviously got cheese. Cheese yeah, and cheese. Cheese, <laughs> cheese, cheese and puds. <laughs> puds is always dressed up. Yeah, I'll put, yeah, true. That's, yeah, puds. Oh, I'd have to go puds. Looks like you've gone to the races puds? or something. Yeah, puds. puds and weeds. Yeah. Puds and weeds. Good mix. Yeah, good mix. Yeah. Yeah. Tall and small. Yeah, Tall, yeah, yeah very <laughs> Opposite ends of the scale. Yeah. Yep. All right. Last one from Ben. This is um, a pretty typical sort of question from him. Hang on. Let's just get most tickable question you can think Ben would ask. What is it? Have a guess. Oh, he wants... What's, oh. what's Ben's best sporting moment? <laughs> oh, no. That's not. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. no, no. But it's pretty close. Oh, pretty close. Yeah. Um, surely ask them about me. Oh, that is probably uh, something about him. Uh, ben. You can leave no comment. <laughs> We've been talking to him the whole time. Uh, he's one of a kind, Ben. Nah, he's a good fellow. He is fun to be around. Um, <laughs> sometimes gets very annoying. <laughs> we all, we've all got. Nah, he's, he's sort of the person you know. You can have one of at around a footy club. You know, everyone. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, the yeah. one you just give shit and yeah. you don't care. Yeah. yeah, you know, you have a bit of joke around with him. Doesn't take it to heart. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, so he's, a bit he's, of, he's just a, punch it's a real love hate relationship. He's that dickhead, but he's a dickhead. Yeah, yeah. 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 Especially the clan, the group. Yeah. Isn't he? yeah. Which um is good. Um, when I did my name, that he'd come around and give me a club tea from um Thursday night teas, which is oh, pretty geez. cool. We'd come around and. Fucking talk yeah. to mum for ages. I don't know if he's trying to chat her up. Or what. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, see if she goes on any bar, bar dates anytime yeah. soon. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, mum's not bar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah. Tell Ben I said hello. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, he's definitely good to be around. Always makes a joke about something or yeah. always something to laugh about. Always lightens up the room. Yeah. Um, I think he's going away next year, so that might be a little bit sad. I think it's going to be his farewell game at Nangis as well. Yeah, yeah um, it probably will be. Last game this week. Last game. Oh, yeah. yeah it's it's going to be sad. Is that at home? Or? It's at home, yeah. So, like, last, last game of the year, yeah. Last so, we're giving the, um, probably the captain's address at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're giving him a little speech. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, oh. he kicks a goal. Oh, he's hopefully, Luke puts him up forward. This will, so, this will come out Friday, the day before. He's a chance this week. Um, oh, yeah. I think it might be, yeah. Probably half a chance. Who are you playing? I'm playing Robe. Robe. Uh, what happened road last game? Oh, slow start. Yeah, slow start. I think we were down 52 points at half time. We come out after half time and it belted down with rain and we come in at three quarter time, eight points down. Yeah, we got eight points down. Eight points down. So, Thanks. what did we kick? Seven straight? Yeah, or seven something? straight. Yep. Seven or eight straight. And we got called soft at half time and that didn't really sit, sit well with me nah. and a few boys and then we just come out there. Just gave it everything and then turned it around. And then obviously yep. we couldn't quite finish it off, but finish yeah, hopefully it. if we start better this game yep. and keep that momentum. Yeah. Actually, when hopefully we have 21 players rock up. We didn't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would always help, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I went past um, Tuesday night training at Rowe and they had about seven blokes there, so... It's exciting. Yeah, seven blokes? Yeah, I think. 
because they're not making finals, a lot of blokes have um, lost interest and I think the B grades are in finals, but none of them train. Yeah. yeah. So it'd be interesting. And we've yeah. got pretty good numbers on the track normally, yeah. so we should be around the 20, 30 yeah. mark, hopefully. So oh, dude, that's wicked. Yeah. It'd be Ben's favourite team to play against too, wouldn't it? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> that's all right. Be, yeah. be, like, I'm just thinking it in my head right now. Kick five against Rove that yep. day, or last year. Last yep. year, yeah. Yep. Comes out, kicks five against Rove this time. Oh, you wouldn't hear the end of it. Don't, don't even have to yeah. win, but like, yeah. it's just about all Ben. All you, about Ben. If there was a medal, you'd probably say you, you should have won. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ben just farewell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if he comes out and kicks five and, you know, like one after Simon or something, that'll be a little oh, bit like that. Oh, I'd yeah. be very thankful he's gone in England. <laughs> yeah. You know, he'd probably stay. He'd probably stay, <laughs> yeah. 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 So we could brag about it for England. Yeah. You're right. He would have a trophy made up and everything, I reckon. Yep. Well, he's kicked five at Rover, I think he's kicked one yeah. since. Yeah, I don't know. He hasn't done that much since. You've uh, been talking about it a lot, though. Yeah. Yeah, oh, no, it's been talked about more, yeah, more times than I can imagine. Yeah. I think it's been talked about on here maybe three or four times. Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. He hasn't even been on here that many times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I know. Yeah. All right, well, that's all the questions from Ben. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Come on, Ben, that's yeah. That's his little dig out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah, got that out of it. Do we want to... Roll into the Instagram questions. Yeah, we can do that. We didn't get many, obviously, because I left it very late to put it up. Um, we've got one for Joel. <laughs> for <laughs> you, know, you know who. <laughs> Rumour has it, Joel never had first aid on Friday and delayed the trip by three hours. Oh, Is that correct? Friday. So, <laughs> yeah, I had, so I, had a, I had a first aid course Friday because I was originally planning to leave Adelaide at one thirty. Yeah, that was that's what, I, that's what I heard. Yeah, because you know, first aid course, we didn't think it would go that long. Started at 7.30, whatever it was. We're like, oh, sure, 8 o'clock, I think it was. I'll be done by 1.30, surely. Mm. And we got to, we had a smoko break, half an hour at 9.30. And then, yeah, it got to 11.30, and he said, oh, we'll go have a lunch break. And we had an hour and 15 minute lunch break. Oh. So they got to like, I think it was, that took us to 1, one o'clock. <laughs> And I was like, oh, fuck, we'll definitely be done by 1.30. And I was like, oh, maybe 2.33 should be done. And then it got to 2 o'clock, and we, he took it, the, the lecturer took another break, <laughs> another smoko break. Oh, shit. And, yeah, so I didn't get home till just after 4, and we left at about 4.30. Oh. Were, were um, Trent and Ben a bit livid about that, or? Oh, they weren't know, too Trent. happy. Trent, they obviously, well, Ben didn't work, and Trent finished at 1.30, I think. Yeah. But he had planned. So yeah, they kind of waited around for three hours. <laughs> so it kind of delayed the trip a bit. Not, not off to a good start. Yeah. But, <laughs> uh, we got there in the end. Yeah, no, that's right. And it's really probably nice. best, because otherwise Ben probably wouldn't have seen the rest of the, like, much of the night. Yeah, well, that's probably right. Yeah, you would have went home at 9.30 yeah, so instead of starting at 9.30. Thank, yeah, thanking me later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, thank, thank, thanks for that question, Ben. Um, yeah, no, not really. Enough, enough. That's enough from you, actually. <laughs> um, got one from Sammy. Sammy Lott. Oh, yeah. Um, who is the AFL GOAT? Is in player? Yeah. Player. All, All time. time. Goat. Wow. All time. It's probably yeah. hard to go past. All time. Go, we'll go you first, Jakey. Uh, maybe, yeah, Buddy Franklin, I think. Yep. That's a fast one. Yeah. I think, yeah. Uh, he's done a fair bit in his career. I think anyone would love to do. Kicks mm. big goals in big moments. Oh, and, yeah. yeah, always rises to the challenge, I think. Um, yeah. Never be a player like him again. No, I don't think no. so, no. no. Not the way he moves, especially no, in the modern no. era. Yeah. 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 Or you got like someone like Gary Ablett Senior. Yep. Like you watch some of his highlights back in the day. Yeah. yeah. Really like, bloody hell. But, yeah, but then like Buddy, obviously he wasn't, he's not a traditional stay at home forward. No. Yeah. And he's still kicking over a thousand yeah, yards. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah. It's hard to go. Probably yeah. the last time you ever see it as well. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. definitely. I think to do it in this era that yeah. he's done it in, probably. Yeah. It's a pretty massive. Right? Pretty big accomplishment. Even watching him yesterday, we were sitting around watching yeah. him at Bazzers. Oh, he's yeah. still, he's still, he's still, he's still yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's still as when good. He's on, when he's yeah. on, you're not stopping him. Yeah. Nah. It's um, be interesting if he leaves um, the Swans there. Yeah, no. where, where do you reckon we'll go? Yeah. I don't know. They're talking about Brisbane, but yeah. I can't oh. see him playing in Brisbane. But you yeah. never know. Do you reckon he's worth the money that people want, that he wants? Uh, what's his what's his for marketing, marketing kind seven. of purposes? Yes, yeah, I thought it was seven. Yeah, yeah, for marketing maybe. Yeah. Yep. He's still got the ability, but yeah, mm. what you yeah, yeah, he's got the ability, and he's like you said, the marketing side. I think yep. he might as well pay it. That's yeah. right, yeah. And you're not gonna be paying it for a long time, really. Are you? Nah, exactly right. I wouldn't say no yeah. one haven't come across the no. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, you definitely don't. <laughs> <laughs> if your team, 
like Brisbane or I want to say West Sydney, they just want to keep him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm, until he wants to retire. Yeah. If you're a team like Brisbane or someone up in the top tier that just needs that final little thing, mm-hmm. he's probably there, isn't it? Really? Yeah, yeah. Get you that, exactly. over that line, so yeah. I think it'd be worth the risk. Sydney yeah. are probably at that point too, I would mm. thought. Yeah. Well, so. For Sydney, I think like they've got the young talent around them that they they can probably back in to take them through for the next yeah. well, at least five years. Mm. Yeah, that's right. And if you hang on to Buddy for another two, two three years, it's not really going to no. have a huge effect. No. Nah. Than I thought. Thought like they're going to play Logan McDonald being at full forward. Yeah. yeah. And he's only going to get better. But then, by the time Buddy's time to go, like they're going to find someone by then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and he's still keeping. He's still in the oh, top he's leading goal kickers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the yep. league. So, yeah, I would have thought being the same Sydney are, it'd be rude not to keep him. Really, yeah, yeah. stupid not to really. So, 100%. yeah, especially the big time player that he is, mm. kicks yeah. goals in important moments. So, yeah, that's my thought. But yeah, who's your who's your goat? My goat. Um, personal opinion. Just off my favourite would be Andrew McLeod. He's my favourite of all time. Okay. Just obviously being a crow supporter growing up, watching off the half backs where I always wanted to play. So yeah. like that run off the back. But if I'm thinking like with my footy head, from the ones I'm not gonna say someone I don't know. Like I haven't watched like you know, your Lee Matthews or your Yeah. Um, probably the greatest I reckon I've probably seen is Chris Judd, Gary Ablett, yeah. one of them two. Yeah. Them two are pretty unreal. So um I think what Gary Ablett did when he first went to GWS, Gold Coast. Coast. Sorry, yeah, that was unreal. What yeah. he was doing, he was that he was pulling that midfield together every week and make them look like a good team, and they weren't a good team. No, that's, right. that's right. They lost yeah. him. He, um, mm. he went to the bottom of the ladder pretty yeah. quick, didn't yeah. they? That's that, right. That yeah. year he won that brown low. Uh, that's probably the greatest football season by far. Yeah. Single yeah. player I've ever seen. So it's probably going to be him just over Chris Judd, probably because I didn't see as much Chris Judd in yeah. like the 05, 06 era. So yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. where I'll go. What about yourself? Um, yeah, well, I'm like you. I probably can't say someone that I haven't seen. Yeah. Um. So I'd probably yeah say Buddy Franklin. Yeah. Buddy Franklin or even like a like Logan, like, like a Luke Hodge. Yeah, yeah I said Logan. Like, yeah. 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 But like he probably wasn't even as much his football side, but just his yeah, just how smart he was. Yeah. And how his leadership. How, yeah, probably crucial he was. Yeah. Just for those teams that yeah. were, when we were good. Mm. Like without him, we wouldn't have won those flags. Nah, that's right. But yeah, but yeah, probably probably Buddy Franklin. Yeah. Like, yeah. You've never seen anything like him again. Nah. Yeah, that's a good call. Yep. I have to go past them ones. Uh, we'll get into the last one. We only had the three this week. <laughs> nice. Um, Sydney Swans grand final run is from Nash. Uh-huh. It's always AFL, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. We all like <laughs> AFL ones. And Sydney, that how they chance the grand final or what? Uh, yeah. I think so. They do. They yeah. Um, they get a home final. They, they, they moved to second. Off, knocking off the pies yeah they did yeah. yesterday that's a big win big one yeah um, so yeah I definitely think they are yeah yeah, yeah I think we said last week yeah. they, were, they were our little secret you know yeah the dark horse dark it horse. is pretty open yeah obviously yeah, they've yeah, gone a bit unnoticed over the yeah. last couple of weeks yeah. obviously with Collingwood has taken a lot of the yeah, attention I, did, I didn't realise that yeah going to second I didn't realise that but that surprised me so. yeah yeah Callum, I think um, Callum Neal's and Heaney are pretty good oh, yeah, so yeah. if they yeah. get yeah. that yeah. double chance as well and they can't you brothers back yeah. there. That was that was so good on the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Did, you, did you just watch it? Yeah, no, no, you didn't watch it. Like watch that. It um, obviously, Colin were very good with their run yeah. inside fifty, and I think Sydney blocked it off nearly every yeah. time. Yeah, yeah especially like in that third and fourth quarter when they were hitting them hard. Yeah, it was yeah. just coming straight back out. They were just so strong back yeah. there. So, I think in big games like finals, you think they're going to be pretty hard yeah. to beat. They match up pretty well against yeah. sides. Yeah. You're going to have to be a pretty good defensive team, I think, to be able to, because you're going to have to out-defend them. Defence wins the game. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Yep. Uh-huh. Yep, that's the right. <laughs> yeah. question. Yeah. roll off with that. Um, I've got an advice question here. I might just read it out. Um, <laughs> hang on, I've lost it. Uh, footy podcast tonight. <laughs> yeah, 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 no. We always, we always get heaps of footy questions on there, but we don't like like it exclusively about sports yeah, so, yeah. yeah yep but i think obviously we've had a lot of sports people on mm. that's sort it. of seeing the way you go and obviously being both into our sports a lot so yeah. it does go that way a bit but we don't know anything else do we no. <laughs> right. any other interesting sports you two? Oh yeah, yeah. that's gonna be good oh um uh, I'm, not uh, I'm not a massive but like, i'll watch nba i don't really follow a team or anything yeah um and I, I like my cricket yeah yeah like i'll watch nearly every test match i reckon yeah nice. you know it's good just Watching like test cricket, especially if it's like you know day five. Yeah. Last twenty overs. Yeah, or something. There's nothing better than oh, yeah. good test cricket. Coming down for a game this year. Hmm? Coming down for a game this year. Oh, uh, Ben's been into me. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll see. 
I uh, had a year off last year. I didn't play cricket last year. Yeah. So yeah, haven't decided yet. Yeah, we're still in the mix. <laughs> we're in the mix. We'll, <laughs> we'll get that contract ready for you. <laughs> I'm still getting all the messages from the group that the group chat. someone's um, added me into it. It yeah. keeps popping up and all that. Oh, is that that messenger one? Yeah. yeah. yeah no, I'm not sure who he's added to me. Well, I haven't accepted I'm, I'm it, but... Pretty sure it was Ben. Yeah. yeah I'll put it back. Yeah. He's like, oh, are you playing? I was like, oh, we'll see what happens, mate. I might fill in if it's yeah. like a short or whatever, but... I'm pretty sure all you will wait for you coming out. He said he's definitely coming out this way. He's coming out this way. <laughs> yeah. You, you rang me. I was somewhere in Adelaide every, or something. Every pre-season training. Yeah. yeah. You playing this week? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and yeah, I play a bit of golf. I don't mind golf. Yeah, yeah. Man. nice. Yeah, yeah. What do you bet you, Jakey? Yeah, just maybe cricket. Like T twenties are good. Um, and yeah, Test cricket, obviously. Not really into the NBA or anything like that, really. So yeah. Yeah. Right. Pretty basic. No weird sports that you get around at all. Like, nah. uh, not weird, but like out there. Oh, but, um, I don't mind the old, old mix netball actually. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. Had a had a bit of a season with that, which is pretty fun actually. Yeah, that, I've had done that for a pretty good yeah. time. Yeah. yeah um, ben wants to make a team. You still want to join, or yeah, you definitely might, might as well <laughs> jump in. Yeah, <laughs> my legs are good to go. Yeah, S- sit in the circle. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, nothing. Yeah. You haven't played any other? No, no, not really. No. So I've I've all played touch footy. Oh yeah, yeah. That's always meant to be playing touch footy. Wednesday night down here in the round for Panala. Yep. We've uh, lot, we've made the. Well, we didn't make the grand final last season, but we've. We won the. We were in Div Two, like the B grade sort of thing, when we first started. Yep. And we won back to back, in that, and then we've moved up to like the Div One, and yeah. we, I think we lost two flags, and then yeah, we got knocked out in the semi. Oh no. Last year, so. So you don't know the B grade. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brought back to reality. <laughs> 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 nah, that's good. Um, I'll read this advice question here. I've got here. Um, sent in by anonymous. Um, title is girl with a boyfriend. This girl who has a boyfriend always wants to hang out. Um, we get drunk and talk and it's great. We often end up sharing a bed. She always says how similar we are. And when we go out, she always tells me how much she loves me. It's very bizarre. And she tells me about problems with her boyfriend. Am I deep in the friend zone or do I shoot my shot? Mm. What do you got? Interesting question. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got to shoot your shot. Yeah, <laughs> even with the boyfriend. I think you got it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah you got yeah. a crack. Yeah, crack. Yeah, if she's having problems. Yeah. Just um, just jump on it while she's um, <laughs> down in the dumps. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do it. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> Not much to say. No, no, it's, it's, it's a touchy it's topic. Hard, 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 hard situation there to be in. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I mean, know. It depends if you know. That person maybe as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you know, the, if you know the bloke. Yeah, yeah. Then it's probably like maybe if, yeah. If it's a friend, but yeah, definitely, definitely not. Definitely, yeah, definitely not. Yeah, I think that's a probably a conversation that's got to be had there between yeah. you yeah. and her, sort of see where our heads are. Yeah, pretty much. Because um, you never really know where someone's fully at. No, yep. no. I would be making sure that things are definitely not right for with the boyfriend before I shoot my shot. But yeah. Obviously, don't want to interfere with a relationship no. that doesn't, doesn't feel right with me. So no, exactly. Um, yeah, that's my answer to that topic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep. good answer. We're wrong with that. <laughs> Bit of being situation, really, don't you? Yeah, you really know what's oh, going yeah. on fully. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Every situation's different as yeah. well. So yeah, yeah. Like I said, you've probably got to be like you've got to sort of see where she's at as well. Yeah, Can't absolutely. Really jump on anything too fast. Yep. Yeah. Have you um? No. <laughs> got nothing for that no oh not for this no oh you mean no sorry <laughs> you got anything more <laughs> no, no not really before, not we, before we roll into the um to the hunji no not really I just no I'm pretty pretty content with all the questions we've had so far so yeah. anything you two want to talk about uh, um you got nothing no nah. oh I, I think I should should I just bring it up Toddy do you want the story what story um, oh yes <laughs> I think most people are probably watching and want to know what happened with your eye <laughs> yeah an interesting story go get up right the camera and show <laughs> I've already done that I've already got up oh, well, you can rewind back to like five minutes or whatever it was so yeah, yeah, I've obviously, early, yeah. obviously got a pretty big scar on my face um, um, Friday night obviously went down for the Taipei Cricket Committee meeting um, yeah we uh, had a few beers 
Um, no, I saw him with uh, Nathan, Nathan Humphreys, Tarts as we call him. Um, he just come from shooting and we were playing a bit of pool, I was drinking a few beers and thought it might be a good idea to go shooting ourselves. Um, we thought we'd grab a box of Bundy for the way there and drinking some long necks and we were shooting the cans. That was, you know, we couldn't find anything to shoot so we were shooting the cans and we had the shotgun and then the rifle as well and we were swapping between the two and um, we were doing pretty good. We were doing really good actually, me him and JJ, considering how <laughs> much we'd had to drink and I think we probably hit three or four in a row each and we're sort of getting to the point where this is getting a bit competitive. Yeah. Who's going to miss how first? Far. Yeah, right. How far. Yeah. Um, they'll go on further each time. Yeah. So it was probably like 20 metres to start. Then we double it, yeah. double it again. So we're getting pretty far. Um, and yeah, probably getting a bit too drunk and a bit nervous about the competition. Got my eye pretty close to the scope and uh, <laughs> let one rip. And there the eye went. <laughs> Hit me in the oh. eye and looked up and there's blood just... You know, like seeing the movies going out like that. I thought, yeah, been in a bit of strife here. And um, again, still being probably too pissed to realise what I was doing. The boys like, so should we drive you in and out, get you to a hospital? And mine was like, no, nah, I still want to keep shooting. Um, and I also didn't want them driving into town, obviously. But um, yeah, so we stuck out there, had a bit of toilet paper, got through the whole roll on the head. Just like held it. Yeah, and um, after about an hour and a half, stopped bleeding, so... Um, had to get up early the next day, got a footy, get through that. <laughs> and then soccer yesterday and cop one of the head yesterday. Oh. Went in for a header. <laughs> oh, oh, no, went no. in for a header when the ball was probably like this high off the ground and oh, no, someone's no. boot come through and hit me in the head. So, yeah, been yeah. a bit sore today, yeah, rested up today cool. and um, yeah, it's been... It's old Harry Potter scale, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting that one a bit actually. <laughs> yeah, so that's the story behind that one. Wish it was better. Dad disowned me when he found out about it. <laughs> saw, saw, saw the scar on my face and asked if I was actually his son. <laughs> and that, my, well, because he'd never do that. Yeah, and he said your grandfather would uh, be very disappointed with all the shooting lessons he gave you back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> but so yeah, he pissed himself. He cried. How funny he thought yeah, it was. Right. So That's I've never seen him laugh that much. So <laughs> yeah, so I've been the laughing stock, but it's good. It's funny. Should have stitches nearly or what? I uh, definitely should have had stitches, yeah. how split it was, um, but it was too busy, had too much on. <laughs> yeah. I said, oh, I'll go do it Sunday, it turns out you can't get stitches three days later, no, so, no. Yeah. so now we've just got to um, wait for it to heal, but yeah. Yep. yeah, definitely should have got stitches, how split it was. And Good story to tell in 20, 30 years. Yeah, I guess <laughs> so. I don't think we've had a story to tell. <laughs> but as I've been told, girls like scars, so. Yeah, look out. Look out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got a, got a question for you, Jake. Yep. Um, obviously, built a house and moved in recently. Yes. Um, how, was the, how was the process of that? How long did it take you from Getting away. deciding to like go and do that to um, actually having it finished? Yep. Um, well, it's probably always been a, a goal of mine to build a house. Um, I've always been pretty good with my money and that. Like, if people call me a tight ass and that kind of thing. Yeah, oh, that's, that's a good, such a good thing to... like. Good trait to have. Yeah, I've always said, yeah, I've got to, got to um, build a house. Like, and Dad said, oh, before you move out, you could have 100K in your bank kind of thing. Yeah. So I kind of did that. And um, I was like, yeah, I'll build a house and uh, bought a block of land. And then I think it was, yeah, probably four months later, I did start to build on it. And then, um, yeah, within nine months, I had a new house. And then, oh, yeah, can. obviously moving into that, being around um, mum, uh, mum and dad and uh, Taylor. And then going into a house by myself, it was like, oh, no, oh this is a bit weird, like a yeah, bit lonely at times. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I was in there for the first, yeah, probably four or five weeks. And I was like, oh, not sure if this is for me kind of thing. I was like, oh, I want to go back home kind of thing. Like, it's just shit. Yeah. But anyway, I'm used to it now and I do like my own space and that kind of thing. So, yeah. it's just taking its time. But, yeah, it's been probably one of the best things I've done. Can have the boys around a few beers and don't have to really answer to anyone about it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, no, it's definitely good to have my own space. Yep. So, so do you build most of it yourself? Yeah, um, like me and Nick, like my boss, um, he, we built it through Nick. So um, yeah, we did all that, all the um, concrete, the roof, um, like all the plumbing fixtures. Did like a lot of landscaping that as well, which is good. So it's been a, it's been a lot of hard work, but yeah. it was, yeah. Oh, it definitely paid off though. In the end, yeah. Get, like if I do ever sell it down the track, I should be able to make a little bit of money off it, I'd hope so. Yep. Do you, uh, would you recommend building a house over buying a new home? Um, at the moment, it's a little bit hard, obviously, with mm -hmm. the interest rates and that going up. Um, it's probably going to be tough for a lot of people to, 
to do that kind of thing now. Um, but definitely, if you like yeah everything new and that like I do, mm. definitely probably build a house. Especially if you want it your way or the yeah. same way. Oh yeah, but yeah. rather it's, than yeah buying a new house and changing bits of it. Yeah. Yep, you yeah. might have just go bang, let's do a new house. Mm. But I'm um, landing that's going up at the moment, so it's kind of hard. So yeah, I I just probably wait a little bit and then yeah. maybe maybe build down the track. Not so probably much now, but yeah, definitely probably build a house. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So, yeah. yeah. And Joel, you're obviously a plumber. What year yeah. are you in plumbing? Uh, second. Second year. Yeah, there we go. Go third year in the end of this year in December. Yeah. At, uh, Grig Plumbing. Oh yeah, nice. So Matthew Grig. Yeah. Yep. Enjoying it? Yeah, it's good. Yep. We uh, we don't do new homes as such. We just do like maintenance jobs or renovations, bathroom, kitchens, laundries, whatever, and a little bit of gunnery and a little bit of roofing. But yeah, not much. Yep. So, yep. Something, so, something different every day. Something you always wanted to do. Uh, not always. Um, I did work experience like as a carpenter as well, yeah. and I was a bit as a plumber. And then you know, kind of just found plumbing, like fell in love with plumbing more than carpentry, and yeah. So yeah, I did just yeah, that's where I ended up really. The first Griggy's like his apprenticeship popped up, so I did two weeks there with him, and yeah, liked his or how he did it, like what, yeah, him as a boss and the people that are there got along with them, so that's where yeah. Right. Still there. Do you always want to be a chibi? Um, plumber. Plumber, sorry. So, yeah, That's like, it. build a yeah, plumber, plumber kind yeah. of everything. Yeah, <laughs> but, um, I don't know, I was always at the front of the, um, the house and uh, we had, like, a bit of water there and I kind of always liked moving the water to a different place. I always used to dig this little trench just to see the water flow down. <laughs> the and and from kids. that, I kind of was like, oh, maybe I do want to be a plumber. And then, um, yeah, I did some work experience with um, Mick and, yeah, I loved it and um, didn't look back, really. Joe actually did some work experience with me yeah. for a little bit, yeah. but at the time we probably weren't looking for someone. So, yeah. What could have been? What could have been? But um, no, nah, I got a good apprentice now in Finn Grimes. Oh, okay, he yeah. plays at Nielsen and he's a big ruckman, so be good to get him across to the Saints <laughs> from here. But we'll see how we go with what that. Ben, you big? Oh no, he's gone anyway. He's gone. Yeah, he's, he's gone. Yeah, find a replacement. He's yeah. um, he's also did a fair bit on the Name Warrior Club route as well, didn't he? Yeah, yep. Yeah. We did all that, which is a massive process and probably took its toll on me at times. Like yeah. some nights I didn't finish till freaking seven o'clock and. The boys be out on the training track and I'm like, oh, now I've been here all day since, since freaking dark, and then freaking going <laughs> home at dark, and it was just kind of never ending. Yeah, Down yeah. there on weekends and that. Between my smoke on lunch breaks, I found myself moving the sprinkler around on the oval, oh. trying to keep that green. So, yeah, that did take its toll, and then trying yeah. to play footy and train, and yeah, but um, in the end, yeah, t- turned out to be freaking one of the best clubs around, I think. So yeah. would have would have like. Guess you would have put up with it knowing that it was for your yeah if you, for, the, for the club. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yep, you get to use it and make yeah, good exactly. use out of it, which was kind of like, put like extra, yeah, put extra care into it yep. as well, sort of thing. Definitely want to get it done, and the boys are used to go, oh fucking this club's not going to get done anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, I'm freaking trying, and like it did just piss me off. A few boys said like, oh come on, Jake, and I was like, I just have to walk away because I've been <laughs> yeah. putting everything into it. They just yeah. stirring me up, but um, but nah, it's been it's been a good thing. The club, yeah. it's been well used. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Looks, like, looks like it's been a few good yeah, yeah. We need a bit of merchandise if anyone's got some native merchandise from yeah. back in the day because obviously we lost all ours in the fire. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's like a bit of a shell at the moment, isn't it? Mm. But once we get a few things up and there, we'll be top shelf. Yeah. Have yeah. you got any? Um, have got any stuff up from the wind during the year? Have you got any photos? No, we haven't got anything in there yet. Nah, we don't have any just yet. We have planned on something like that. But yeah, I think something might be coming up pretty soon. Yeah, cool. For that, yeah. yeah. Just quietly. Sure, sure there'll be yeah. plenty of photos and stuff oh, going around. Yeah, that's right. Plenty of photos. Yeah. yeah. Newspaper articles in the Sunday Mail and that kind Celeste, of thing. Yeah. Celeste Raymond, the photographer. Yeah, it's the last. Should have a few good photos, I believe. Oh yeah. Tony's got a good video too. Yeah, you do. I do. I do want to flash back to that day just quickly. Yep. Um. I don't think I've ever been like so passionately supporting a team ever. <laughs> like even when I go for the Hawks and stuff, I get pretty get pretty animated. Yeah. But that last quarter, I was like hanging off the fence the whole yeah. like the whole quarter. I was yeah. waiting for the siren to go. I've yeah. never seen anyone that passionate about anything. No, yeah. I don't think it's well, well, I, I, I don't have tears in my eyes. No, like, not nearly. Like, like, not nearly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure every time you touch the ball, it was got me. That's when the tears start coming. No, I reckon right, he's right. a late. He's it a late. was probably the longest fourth quarter I've yeah. ever played in. I reckon. Yeah, yeah. Was, I thought it was never going to end. Yeah, and like when um when that young fellow was running into that goal, yeah, and he, and he missed it. Yeah. Just missed it. 
Um, that would have, yeah, that probably would have sealed it. What, what did yeah. that feel like when he missed it? It was like, like it's going to happen. Yeah, now. I just took a massive deep breath. Yeah, just a like, relief. I was like, we can just to be. Yeah, if we can just hold on to the footy now. And yeah, we ended up going down, t- took the footy down the other end. Kicked it yeah, off. Uh, long kick in and bounced out of the pack. Fell into the weed hands. Yeah. And he, yeah, kicked the sealer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was, a, I don't know who it was, but someone put a nice in hairball into him. Yeah. yeah so. Well, it might have been me, actually. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, off the foot of the pack. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, apparently uh, when he kicked the like kicked the goal, the ball was in the air and like, apparently it went through the goals and the siren apparently went, but no, but one, no heard one heard it. No, it yeah, it, that was just, yeah, it just went crazy. It was, it was yeah. mental. And man. I think they said on the th- third bloke, and when everyone was back in the middle, uh, yeah, we finally heard it. Heard it, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, the timekeepers, obviously, they must have been, they said they were filling out some paperwork because they obviously thought it was done, they knew it was done. And then they looked up and everyone was reset in their positions. Mm. Oh, so that's like, and they're like, oh, yeah. holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> so what was that feeling like hearing them, actually hearing oh. it when oh. you found out and you knew one? Did you, what, was it just like a, was it a sigh of relief or was it? Yeah, like, I think it's a little bit of everything. Yeah, like, just, I was on um, Jack Door at the time and I said, like, when's your song going to go? He's like, oh, I think you've got us, mate. Like, it's not too long to go. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I don't know. And then um, we walked back and heard the sigh and I just dropped to the ground and I freaking had like tears in my eyes and I think everyone did nearly. Yeah, it was just there was yeah. a lot of emotions going through our head. Like I've never cried that much in, mm. for a long time. Yeah. It was just yeah, a lot of outpouring of emotion, I suppose. Yeah. A lot of weight off your shoulders. And like, yeah, so we were obviously in a group, like we yep. up, and then I remember coming out of the group and I just remember seeing everyone. Mm. Like, yeah, everyone, everyone that was there everyone. was around us. It was like you won a grand final. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's probably probably a little bit better than a grand final to be honest. Yeah. The weight was so long. Yeah. Like, every year someone wins a grand final, but this has taken eight years yep. for something special to happen like yeah. this, and everyone's waited. And it was always my dream to come back to Nays and win a win a game at home mm. in front of the crowd because it's been such a long time. Yeah. Was that, yeah, I guess it was even better that it was at yeah, home. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the new yeah, rooms, all the circumstances yeah. that yeah. come into it. Yeah, this, yep. everything that's happened. Yeah. yeah, I think that was like sort of half the thing that would get me yeah. get emotional because yeah. like of everything that happened as well, and that's how right. like because yeah. of like yeah, no, obviously a few of the blokes there yeah. and yep. like. Just know how much work's gone into it yeah. to get to where it is. That's right. Because a lot of people say, well, now you should fold and that kind of thing. And like, yeah, oh, yeah. They, why they got the club still? Yeah. So they should merge with another club. And yeah. Yeah, it's when it's like coming from someone that's outside the club that doesn't really know what's going like, what yeah, the club yeah. is or what, what we're about. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's just that good to prove yeah. all them wrong, really. Yeah, that's yeah. right. There, Massive. right? Yeah. Massively, yeah. 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 yeah, obviously it went. Went pretty viral. It was like yeah, it did. in all the That's papers right. everywhere. Yeah, and like we had a, we had a lot of interviews. Yeah, a few um, interviews. You were both on. Was it the jars and yeah, the jars. Oh, trip, yeah, trip, you trip, 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 yeah. Let's talk a little bit about that. Nah. <laughs> that was fucking funny. Yeah, yeah, was funny. That was pretty uh, nerve wracking going that as well because yeah. we didn't really know how long we was gonna go for or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, obviously like speaking to yeah like couple of celebrities and that Yeah, like yeah, they're yeah they're pretty funny. They're pretty funny. Pretty funny blokes. They know something awesome. they were saying. Like, and I'm pretty sure you went sober. No. <laughs> oh, we probably weren't, yeah. No, yeah, we were at the club at the time. Was that on the, was that on the Sunday? No, nah, it was, was that that Monday. 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 <laughs> we went <there. laughs> A couple of days. We'd been to the, we were at the driving range. Yeah. And yeah we, were Jen, we were at Jen's. And, yeah, and they rang us up. It was Monday night. Yep. Did yeah. you know going into Monday that you were going to be on the, uh, the talk to? Or when did you find out? Yeah, that morning. I think it was the morning, yeah. yeah. 10 I found, o'clock. I found out Monday morning, yeah. Did they exclusively ask you to? Or they asked the captain vice captain, I'm yep. pretty sure, didn't they? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. the kick, yeah. Yep. Yeah, cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But yeah, that was, pretty, that was a good experience. Would have, felt a bit, um, would have felt a bit starstruck. Bloody oh. And then people talking about it. And yeah. Like, even and my like, um, uh, cousin up in Adelaide, yeah, they like, said, oh, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Here it is. They, yeah, I had mates in Adelaide saying they was listening to the radio. You know, yeah, so it just like, come they on. heard my name. It's like, <laughs> what the hell? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was a bit dirty in the moment. They stuffed up my name. Yeah. Like Jack. Yeah, okay. Jack. Jack. <laughs> I, was like, I was going to pull him up on it, but I was like, ah, we'll go with it. I got halfway through it. I couldn't tell if they were talking about puds. Or <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But, um, but no. obviously, yeah, recognise the voice. Yeah, like, that's right. Just, did they give you any prep for it? Did they? Nah. nah. So did you just answer the phone? That was yeah. it. Yeah, that was it. Straight yeah, into it. Straight onto it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so yeah. It wasn't yeah. bad. It's probably better rather than like building it up. Mm, yeah. Knowing about yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And then um, we had another interview as well we meant to do when I'd done my ACL after the game with, um, what's his name? From oh, we actually, yeah, we had a guy from America. The Yankee. Yankee. What's he called? My Yankee footy. Like, he's from America and he follows AFL. And yeah, he, I don't know how he found out, but he got in yeah, contact yeah, with uh, my grandfather, the president, 
And then, yeah, so we ended up doing a Zoom call with him for mm-hmm. his podcast over in America. <laughs> right. Really? Yeah. yeah. Cool. So that's on, you've done the podcast? Yeah, we, we're an episode on that. Yeah, right. So we're not even the first to get him in. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's cool. I was in a hospital bed, so um, yeah. Plug had come in and took over my role. But, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, I was looking forward to doing that. But Got um, sloppy seconds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what else? Oh, we've had, then we had ABC Grandstand. Yep. Yep. And then uh, Milo as well. Uncle Milo. Yeah, that's right. Milo. Yeah. yeah, there was a few. Yeah, right. Busy week. <laughs> Very busy week. Yeah. Yeah. Good time, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, all the recognition you were getting after that, that yeah, that's makes right. it all worth it for yep. a while, yeah. I thought. Yeah, no, 100%. Yeah. I think yeah. I'll get onto this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> what is the podcast name, by the way? Uh, uh, it's it's right. My Yankee something. I'll have to, I'll have to get it up. Though. My Yankee... Um, Woody or something like that? Woody? Is so sad. I'm not sure. Yeah, AFL maybe. Yeah, so that was the highs and lows of footy, eh? Yeah. Winning that, winning the first game, and then the next mm. week doing the ACL. ACL. It, yeah. It was the week after. Yeah, literally two quarters oh. in to yeah, the next right. game. Did, and do you know straight away? Oh, I, I, I didn't know because I've never done it. I've never seen one mm. yeah. done. But someone that was close by said, "I've done three of them, mate, and it didn't sound or look that good." So yeah. I was like, yeah, but didn't, my knee didn't blow up at the time, so I was like, oh, maybe I've escaped the worst, but yeah. um, I actually went to the emergency hospital that night, yeah. and they said I was all good to go, I've only strained a ligament. Yeah, that's so very I've, similar to my brother, actually. I've walked out of there thinking, message all the boys, saying, like, I'm probably going to be back in another week, <laughs> like two weeks, and they're like, oh, that's awesome news, yeah. and then um, I got Simon Radley over, um, the South trainer, and I'm really good mates with him. Um, and he's gave it a bit of a test and he said, there's actually a little bit of movement in the ACL, Jake. And I was like, yeah, right. He's like, I'll get you in for a scan. So he's rang up and um, got me in for a scan on the next day, I think. And yeah, had the scan. And then that night at eight o'clock, I've got this phone call. And I said, oh, g'day, mate. And he's like, g'day, Jake. And I said, how are you? He's like, better than you. And I was like, are you kidding? Uh-huh. He said, yeah, mate, you've ruptured your ACL. Uh, the ACL. I'll um, uh-huh. get you in to see me tomorrow morning. Yeah, right. And I was, I got off the phone and I was just like, I just freaking cried because... Mm. It was just a lot of emotion. Like I was like, I'm gonna ring up everyone and say I've done the ACL. Now I'm gonna ring up the boss and say, look, I've done it. Probably not gonna be working for a while. I didn't know what that meant for my income and that. Lucky I've got sick days getting paid to me. Lucky I've got the house. I was like, oh, just a lot of things going yeah. through my head. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, kind of going from there, yeah, the highest of highs, yeah, and then yeah. just straight back down to earth. So yeah, yeah, but you look at it. I was pretty lucky to pl- play playing the game. So yeah, that's what I look at. Thank yeah. God I got the win. I guess, yeah, if there's anything to come out of it, it could have been, could have been yep. the other way around. That's yeah, right. Like, yeah. 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 And how did you do it again? Just um, just movement. Like, I ran to tackle someone and just went to move his direction. And I think my body must have went that way. My knee was still planted and it just gave, like, my knee just gave way inside. Yeah. Just kind of come inside. And yeah, it so not, not a tackle, tackle no, or anything. No, it wasn't just, touch. just movement. Yeah, just movement. Yeah. So yeah. I looked down, I could see my knee just kind of go like, oh. like that. And I was just like, oh. Just yeah. like I was laying on the ground, just like holding it together, because I didn't know if I yeah I thought I might have just popped it out maybe, but yeah. it, the noises it made, I was like, it's not real good. Yeah. I just laid down and the stretcher came out. A lot, a lot of people didn't even see it. No, I didn't realise. Yeah, yeah, it's very that sounds more similar to my brother. He went up for a market road, yep. jumped on the cricket pitch, yeah. and he done his knee, but went yeah. too far off water or something like that. Yeah, and everyone thought he was just you know. Over exaggerating, yeah, that's right. The stretcher comes out, and you go, Oh no, it's not right. No, mm. that's it. Yeah, mm. yeah so it's yeah. a pretty interesting sort of injury to do, it is actually. Yeah, how easy it can be done. Yep, when you think you make those movements all the time, that's right. Mm. And then something like that can just happen yeah. so quickly. Yep, 100%. And I'm on a roof and that all the time, and like use your legs at, at work and mm. concreting and that. So, yeah, you think you're freaking pretty much good to go. Yeah, I know you can look back and say the ground's mm. too hard at Nangwari, but yeah, <laughs> 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 Um, yeah, I got it here. A yank on the footy. It's Craig Weasel's his name. A yank. I think episode 184. 184? It should be my grass. It should go a while. 184. Oops. We are a bit late to the podcast scene, I think. Yeah, well, oh, we are. We're probably a few years late. Yeah. <laughs> the trend sort of happened and. Can't, say, can't say I ever actually listened or watched a podcast before. We had the idea of making a podcast. So. 100%, yeah. That's that's probably the first podcast I've really watched as you yeah. guys. Yeah, right. As well, so. Yeah, that's good. I've never really been into it all. Yeah. A chat with Joel Burton and. 
Oh, same apologies. Yeah. Yep. Probably that nice. Have you learned? Nice. Much for that one. <laughs> <laughs> How long did it go for? Uh, he, our segment only went for maybe 20 minutes on that. Oh, there. okay. So yeah, it's not a whole nap. It wasn't a whole thing. Yeah. Yep. yep. Oh, that's wicked. I had no idea about that. Yeah, yeah right. It's interesting. <laughs> so. Very good. He lives in North America, doesn't he? Yeah, he's in North America. So, yeah, he, I think he woke up at, what did he say, 6.30 in the morning. And it was just before uh, races night. So, it was just after our function. So, it was, it was maybe at 7 o'clock, 7.30 at night, like here. Yeah. He's, yeah. Uh, is he pretty cluey on the whole AFL scene? Yeah, or? he goes, he, he sports Geelong. Oh, um, of course he does. Yeah. <laughs> not listening to yeah. yeah. Um, But yeah, he, sent, he follows it pretty well, he said. Yeah. He loves it. Yeah, right. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Like, yeah. Yeah. Can't believe you didn't mention anything to me about that. <laughs> um, Alright, I think, I think we should get to the, the hungy. The hungy. Yeah. yeah. As well as getting it up, favourite song from each of you. It doesn't have to be your favourite, just one that you maybe, at the moment, you're yeah, on. Liking at the moment. Or, or just one, just one that's a classic. classic. Yeah. I've got an old classic, yeah. Uh, Probably um, Jimmy Bum's uh, <laughs> Flame Trees. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> yes, yeah, Flame Trees. That's not, that's, yeah. Um, I listen to that ages. I'm great. pretty bad with songs actually. Like I like all the old classics and that. Yeah. I don't like. I don't love all the new stuff now, kind of thing. Like you like a bit of heat, don't you, Joel? Mm, no. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> nah, oh, probably be. Like, I love Jack Harlow. So, yeah. Do you? Yeah, I love Jack Harlow. Oh. <laughs> we um, it probably have to be like, my favourite song from it. Is obviously it would have to be Dua Lipa. Yeah, so, that's my yeah, favourite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And obviously, yeah, Industry Baby. I yeah. Love that. Yeah, yeah, I used to do like that. Yeah. But you, you didn't go to spin off, did you? No, nah, I didn't. No, nah, lucky, yeah. lucky you didn't go. Yeah, yeah. Would've, that would have ruined it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we were very against him that day, weren't we? No, yeah. I, was, I was actually well, keen to listen to him. Uh, no, I was keen to listen to him too, but when he was on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so he was, yeah, he was doing a lot of talking, not a lot of singing. Yeah, yeah. 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 me and Jesse were getting right into him. I don't see why we're telling him, but... Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had no... Yeah. Telling him to leave, but... Yeah. Had footy, so... Yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah. Priorities. Priorities, yeah. yeah. That's good. I mean, I'll skip that. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I skipped that. Like, yeah. We end up losing, so I'm um, winning our first game for the year oh. against you guys. What was it? Oh, what's that one? Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm. Down in the bloody swamp. Oh, the mud yeah, yeah, the mud holes. <laughs> yeah, as they say. <laughs> Didn't you train on an oval the other night? Yeah, yeah, we did because you guys um, went yeah. to the pub or something. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> 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 we had the bike. We tra- yeah. <laughs> we, yeah, we trained at the RSL. Yeah, at the moment I think we're sort of just taking <laughs> whatever o- ever oval we can get. Really? Yeah. yeah. So, How was yeah. the oval? Not too bad. Uh, I didn't train that night, actually. <laughs> <laughs> You're also training at Yarra, so... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think, yeah, I think they look happy with it compared to our local. Yeah, so, nice. Um, yeah, we've been training everywhere at the moment. Yep. I think last week we trained on the, um, at our, the boat ramp, yep. on, just on the cement out there. The so boat ramp. <laughs> yeah, we've, right. We've had it a bit rough. Is that, but, a, is that a bring your sneakers to training? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, it was free and bloody. And your knee pads? Or? Yeah. <laughs> bring your skateboard. Bring your yeah. skateboard off. But yeah, it's been a bit difficult with the oval, but yeah. obviously we didn't get it right in the off-season, but hopefully we can get it right this year. Yeah, yeah. exactly, mate. Scrap, take it from, start from scratch, but... What, rip it up all again, or...? Uh, I think that's the tour. Yeah. I'm not really sure. Um, that's probably all you can really do. It's going too far going, isn't it? Yeah, it is what it is, but, you know, mistakes may happen, and yep. sometimes you can't, you know, you can't predict what's going to happen. So yeah, exactly, mate. It is what it is, but obviously I had to play an away game, I mean, a home game at a camp last week, which was weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you're, on the, you're on the gate, weren't you? Yeah, I was doing the gate. Oh, yeah. And it was the weirdest feeling, it's seeing weird. everyone coming in, and it's a home game Because yeah, at the start of the year, you just didn't play at home, because it yeah, wasn't we, ready. Yeah, we missed our first six. Yeah, games. and obviously so like, isn't it this hard? Yeah, you have to play six games home games in a row. row. I think that's what's taken the whole year out of it. Like he's not going to be able to hold up. Yeah, so it? it's yeah, and it'll probably come back a couple of weeks earlier than they wanted to as yeah. well. So yeah, all those sort of things add up, and mm-hmm. is what it is. But you know, the way that the A grade has gone this year, it's credit full credit to them yeah. not being able to train on their oval yeah. every week yeah. and having you know different circumstances. Mm-hmm. Not you know. Some weeks you might want to even get to train yeah. earlier in the season, and they've done pretty well to, you know, still push out a finals team yeah. after everything that's happened to them. I think. To be yep. But yeah. Ready to get into it? Yeah. I'll uh, just just let these boys know. So we've got a got a thing going on at the moment. We're doing our own hottest one hundred. Yep. Um, I think it was sent in through Instagram. Yeah. Something like Eddie. that. Someone, yeah, Eddie. Yeah. Eddie put it in. Yep. Um, so each week we'll read out ten songs. So we'll go from. We went start from 100 to 90, then 80, like yeah. so yeah. forth, all the way down. 
We're at 40 to 31 yep. now. So we obviously, he picked 50 songs, I picked 50 songs. Yeah. So my 50 went against your 50 and the better one goes higher. Oh, uh, yeah. So we're down to that sort of last area now. Yeah. yeah. Then we weeded out. We had a couple songs at the same, so we just sort of got, added worked, a, worked around that, added uh, different songs in. Yeah. yeah. So we're actually at, no, that's, that's last week's. Uh, we're at 41, so we're at 40 with your song. Um, and this is a playlist on Spotify. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yes, it's in your bio on um, um, Instagram. North. Yeah. Yeah. So go to our Instagram bio. Um, a lot of people have been complaining that it's not there, but it actually is. And the link tree. Click um, on the link tree, and you'll find the link. Yeah, I think it's actually. I'll have to look. Just double check it's there because I don't want to give up people. No, you've got to check it out. Okay. Nothing. Yeah, you. <laughs> um. Yeah, so you click on the link tree here, and it's the top one, Richo and Toddy Potty Humby. Yeah. Yep. Takes it straight to Spotify, where it's in order. Yep. Right. 100 down. So I don't want to hear anything more about that. Yep. Since when has there been a TikTok one? I had that in there. So we got TikTok. Yeah, we got TikTok. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, nice. nice. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't right. used it for a while, but yeah. No, we haven't. I don't, think we, I don't even know we had a TikTok. Yeah, we've got a couple up there, so if you want to look at us on TikTok as well, we're there. We'll start we actually noise. have stuff on TikTok. Yes, we do. I don't even have TikTok. <laughs> oh, say, oh, look at this. It's just the, the... Oh, it's just like... Yeah, it's oh, it's Rossi. Yeah. Yeah. We might have to actually start using that, I reckon. Yeah, that's the money maker, they say. Yeah, they, they do say that, actually. Might get some Saturday nights going. On yeah, the TikTok. Oh, oh. What a bit of like roaming. Yeah, a bit of yeah, maybe. Or just oh, you know, geez, I actually not want that at all. See get what we're up to on a Saturday night or a Look, weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Might give it to Ben. Yeah, of yeah, down yeah. for the Nang Warri. <laughs> Some of the Nang Warri. Oh, yeah, that would be a good idea. Yeah, we're, um, we're actually thinking about coming to Nang's one night and doing like a sort of. Oh, yeah. Um, not this sort of setup, but like sort of just go get yeah, different people to fly We had Hutchy yeah. message, messages saying we should do a live potty. Yeah, cool. At a uh, Nang Warri night. Yep. We thought that'd be cool. But, that'd be awesome, um, yeah. Yeah, it'd be funny. I would have thought we get all the. We've had a lot of people on from Nangaroo. So yeah, that's yeah. right. Oh, definitely more than any other club. Yeah, yeah. Come down to um, Silly Sunday. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 This this Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Is that this week? This Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Sunday. Mm. So. Wait, just quietly. <laughs> 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 yeah, Sunday, Richard. <laughs> I might be calling in sick on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> just need the um, boys to pay up all the fines, especially Ben. Actually, oh, yeah. 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 He's got about two hundred or three hundred dollar fine. He's going to pay like. The whole year he hasn't paid, so yeah. Well, maybe he's luck stop taking that out. Exactly. Stop taking people to the bar and just yeah, pay that's right, pretty much. <laughs> he loves the camera too much. He yeah. does. Because um, we need to get a keg and a couple of boxes of spirits yeah. and that kind of thing. I think so. I'll actually owe you fifty dollars this week. You do, yeah, exactly. Yeah, maybe we'll come down and tell him he can be on the camera if he pays you fine. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much, mate. <laughs> definitely do that. Uh, all right, we'll smash this out. Um, I think we're like an hour now. Are we? Yep. Yeah, just past an hour. Um, all right, so first song for me is uh, number f- 40. 40? No. Yeah, 40. Yeah, 40. Yeah. 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 Uh, Time to Pretend by NGMT. Have you heard that song? No. Nah. Nah. Really? Not terrible song yeah, names and stuff, yeah, actually. Yeah, not, not good. Nah. Um, bit of a tune. They've got three really good songs in one line. Yeah, they do. Um, that was my favourite of them, so that's where I put that. Yep, that is my favourite of them, too, so it's a good shout. Yep. Good. You got the next one? Um, at 40, no, yeah. 39. Yeah. I have Rum Rage by Sticky Fingers. Either of you know that I've heard of that as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah it's probably I've one of my favorite. I've heard a few Sticky Fingers. Yes. I don't mind them. Yeah, one of my favorite bands, yeah. I reckon. Yeah. Um, yeah, bit of a softer one, but love that guitar oh, solo. Yeah, no, the guitar song. solo at the end of it. Takes you to a different planet, this song. Yeah, <laughs> great song. Um, yeah, one of the clap, my favorites. Yep. Um, I've got I've got the next one, 38, Never Be Like You by Flume. Yeah, yeah that one. Yeah, yeah good song. Um, that was always one of those ones that. Yeah, popped up in the hottest 100 and it's stuck yeah. with me ever since. Yeah. yeah. So, I'd yeah. always like, I'd love to go see Flume live. I reckon mm-hmm. it'd, be, nice. it'd probably be one of the people I'd want to go see the most. But, um, don't know if I'll ever get there. No. But yeah, it's there uh, there. good song. Yep. Nonetheless. Um, so, what are we up to? Sorry. 37. 37. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do this every, <laughs> every, every week. week. Okay, I've got I'm Going Down by Bruce Springsteen. Um, probably my favourite Bruce Springsteen song either you've heard. Nah. No, 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 I don't think I have. Um, yeah, he's off the. It's a pretty good song. Um, <laughs> creamed it a lot at a period of time. Um, and just never gets old. So yep, what's the point of this for me? Um, yeah, yep, that's what it is for me. 
Uh, next one, uh, number 36 that we're at. Yep. Okay. Yeah, 36. Um, she Only Loves You When I'm There by Ballpark Music. Wicked song. Great song. <laughs> Have you heard that? Nah, I haven't heard that one. That's probably a little bit more of a low key one from Ballpark Music. They played it live at Spin Off, and it was, I thought it was probably the best song yep. for the whole yeah, day. Okay. Yeah, right. um, so, yeah, I hate a ballpark, but not a yeah. good song. I think, yeah, no, that's always sort of been my favourite song from them. Um, a bit of an older one. Yeah, a little bit older. Um, it's got a bit of meaning behind it for me, so I think, yeah, it'll always stick with me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 35, I have Peel by Bedroom Border, but I know none of you have heard this one. No. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, a very, it's a very, um, yeah, not not known song. Um, one of my friends got me into it, so bit of a thrasher. Played a lot of tarps nowadays. Yeah, it's right. one of our songs. Me and Nathan thrash it a lot when we go on um, our late night drives. As <laughs> um, it's one of the ones we thrash. So yeah, that's why it's up there for me. Yep. Um, Thirty four is mine again with the man himself by Gang of Use. It's a pretty new one. No, no, no. no. So um, that doesn't ring a bell for me. Uh, it's Maybe for here I might know, but yeah. like I'm shit with names. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's one of the new ones. Um, one of my favourite Gang of Youth songs, probably my favourite Gang of Youth song. So, big Gang of Youth fan. So that's quite up there for me. It's all about the Gang of Youth, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I am all about it. Um, number thirty-three, another song that's spin off. Uh, I don't want to talk by Glass Animals. Yeah, I, I think that. I think that's one that you would have heard. Yeah, I've heard that. Um, yeah, that was probably. The second best song, the yep. spin-off, I yep. thought, yeah, right. was pretty good. Um, I think, I don't even know how I come across it, but yeah, I've been, I've thrashed that for a long time, oh, so it's probably something a little bit old, but um, mm. yeah, falls in around that. Glass Animals is good. Yeah, oh, they were, yeah, yeah. they were wicked spin-off. Yeah. Yeah. Like, by the time Glass Animals come on, I think it would have been near 10 o'clock and I wanted yeah. to go home, but that, they, yeah, they, right. they kept, you, up, they kept yeah. you standing up. Found another gear. Yeah. <laughs> Dug deep. Yeah. All right. Um, and then 32 for me. Again, one I know you not, haven't heard of. Um, Strawberries by Camp. Um, I think I've talked about Camp. Have I talked about, we haven't talked about Camp on here before. Oh, no, oh, it's one of my bands that another friend got me into. Um, and they're a very folky sort of American type band. But the guitar on it's really good. Very um, acoustic and um, on a acoustic guitar, which is good. So I just really like that song. So that's why it's up there for me. Yep. But yeah. All right. Forty-one. Last one. Yeah. 30, Thirty-one. This is Shit. one. <laughs> Thirty-one. This is all. This is another one that's both ears, I think. Yeah. Um. Baby, I'm getting better by Gyroscope. Nah. No. Oh, I reckon I've heard that. Yeah. Yeah. No. Go on, yeah. Play it. I'm gonna play it. I'll <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think oh, I have. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, I don't know this one. Not a bad song. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, nah. No? Oh, wow. Yeah. Nah. You're missing you it. Have to yeah, yeah. Um, absolutely wicked song. Oh, me and you have been playing with that a lot lately, yeah. haven't we? And Plug, Plug loves it a lot, too. Yeah. Pretty sure it's on 96.1 all the time, isn't it? Do you what, listen to it? Two Dom Shul Jay. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah, right. I didn't know it was on 96.1. Well, I, I hope, hope it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's on, yeah, we have 96.1 at work all day. Yep. So. I've heard on that. Yeah, right. Yep. No, it's a good song. Yeah. That's it. I think it's a spin off. We've creamed that a fair bit, haven't we? Yeah, no, we have, um, yeah, blared out the lyrics yep. Yep. On, on the way home in the car. So yeah, that's it. Plugged in too, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, he, he never sings. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I know why now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what it rounds up the countdown for this yep, week. So that's 40 to 31, um, getting to the business end now. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's like three more, work, three more weeks. Yep. Um, yeah, it is three more weeks. Mm. So, uh yeah, no. We're probably gonna we're probably gonna have to do something similar for the music scene afterwards. I think we've had a bit of a conversation about this midweek. We're thinking about we're gonna do something else. So yeah, if you like the music segment, let us know. If not, we might have to scrap it. But we're pretty keen That's to right. keep it going. That's I think. Like, yeah, we, yeah. It's about I reckon we're at the start of our podcast. We're doing footy ground reviews each week. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, I reckon we did five weeks of it. We had enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Half yeah. the time it was like oh. And it would say someone like Mount Burn, I'd be like, oh, look, I've never been there. Can't, yeah, come, yeah, can't right. comment on it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think we did some, it's a good little segment, I think. Mm. Yeah, no, it is. I was, yeah, really like the idea. Yeah, so. Yeah. Different, yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, I think Around the that's us. That's it from us. Yeah. Any questions from you two, Adel? No, I think. Um, yeah, you, uh, you bury your question. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Richard, any um, news on the Port Mac coach next year? 
<laughs> Ooh, yes. Great question. Oh, I have not heard nothing, and I'm happy to say that. I'm not, like, you know, pushing around the bush. I haven't yep. heard anything yet. Um, I know that they're definitely looking. Obviously, Simo not putting his hand up to do it again yeah. next year. I think he's got a fair bit on, so. Yep. Um, yeah. Simo wouldn't come back to Nangus, Joey. No. Interesting what will happen there. Um, he's done, I think he's done a pretty good job with what, the time he's had, so. Yep. Well, yeah. It'll be pretty hard shoes to fill. Um, yeah, not really sure where they're going to go with that. While we're on that, obviously your Ke- Ke- oh, not Kev Luke's not going to go on again next year. No, he's not going on. Yeah, which yep. is pretty sad. Um, um, yeah. But yeah, there's a few whispers what's going to happen next year. Mm. Probably can't go saying too much. No, <laughs> no, of course not. It's similar to me, but yeah. But, um, yeah, I think, yeah. That was you know, what Luke brought the last two years. Yeah, you've enjoyed it, Andrew? Yeah, that was actually another question from Luba. Yeah, what was Luke, Luke, got to get what was Luke like as a coach? And yeah. we wanted to bring it up in conversation. And we'll <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's someone that, like, what happens on the footy field, like, he, he's still your mate just after. Like, he yeah. yeah, like, he's one of the best coaches I reckon I've nearly had. And, yeah, like, obviously, first year coaching last year. Yeah. And then, obviously, getting Tazzy this year to help him out. And, yeah, he's yeah, come a long way. Yeah, yeah. yeah obviously, like, getting that win. It just, yeah, all the hard work he's put in all the time. Especially what he was going through. Yep. You know, yeah, tops it off, really. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Really, Yeah, bloody oath. Like, obviously, good match with him too. one of yeah. my best mates. Um, basically, yeah, we had a chat when he first came down to like to be the coach. I kind of asked him, like, he said, oh, yeah, leave, leave it with me kind of thing. And, yeah, anyway, he jumped on board, which is, I was bloody stoked to play with him again. Um, but, yeah, he just leads by example on the field. Like, you can go back or forward. Even tried to ruck a few times and yep. played on ball a couple oh, of times. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he always gives it 100% kind of thing. Um, yeah, he's pretty dangerous when he goes forward or, or if he's floating around the back line. Um, yeah, he does He does get angry sometimes and probably yeah. takes it to heart a bit too much. But um, that's like all of us. But um, he's done an awesome job. He's probably set the foundations there now. And oh, yeah, definitely. He's yeah. probably going to lead us into a good spot the next few years, I'd say. So, yeah. Hopefully he sticks around next year and plays with us again. Um, but yeah, I'd say getting a few offers to go elsewhere mm. and maybe coach again, I don't know. But um, yeah, hopefully he sticks around because yeah, definitely a better place to be yep. involved with. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yep. That rounds us up. Yeah, no, I think that might be us actually. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, 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 Cheers, boys. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, for, having thanks for coming Cheers, on. Buddy. No, no worries at all. Been an absolute pleasure having you on. Um, I've really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, no. And yeah, we're hoping Little would sneak in somewhere. But <laughs> yeah, I think he's actually uh, he snuck in out the back, but yeah. he's probably in there. Surprisingly, hasn't snuck on yeah. camera for there once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a surprise, but a welcome one. Yeah. Um. So yeah, another episode done. Signing off with the Rich on Toy Body. All the best.